Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the brand new release, Friday the 13th, The Game, which is doing surprisingly well early on, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video, but right now, let's take a look at the overall gameplay and the setup. If you're not familiar with the Friday the 13th franchise, I suggest you watch a couple of movies just to make it even better. Not me. We start out in 1979, a bunch of camp counselors at Crystal Lake, and Jason, of course, comes out and does what he does. And at this Wait, point in time, you are now going to be one of the characters in the story. Yo, bitch, don't Either a camp here. counselor, or here. if you're one of the lucky chosen people, you get to play Wait as a Jason. Come on! Yo! Yo, asshole, move over! <laughs> hey! <laughs> the hell is this shit? Jason, they're over here. <laughs> they're getting away. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go get them. <laughs> My VHS gets kicking in. Oh, shit. No. Ah! No. <laughs> little help. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about some oh, of the good stuff like about this game. Right now at all. That was legit, man. I was scared shitless for a second there because yeah, I wasn't expecting to dying, see him guys, behind me like, like that. that. And that's what this game does. It puts you in Friday the 13th. You're part What's of happening here? the storyline. So this time I spawn back in as Tommy Jarvis. This is Ooh, I get to be Tommy Jason. Jarvis. I got a gun. This game oh, really has is. everything up, in bitch? it that you would have in a Friday the 13th franchise movie. So you've got the councils, of course, at Camp Crystal Lake. That's an automatic. Oh, whoa, whoa, and go in there. Are, going dude. through different cabins. While you're in the cabins, you're scavenging around there trying to find the tools that you need to survive. There are two vehicles, but they are missing things like batteries and keys oh, I don't want and to gasoline, that. which you can collect. And then with any luck, everybody gather up together what? and get the vehicles Damn, running and maybe you can get the heck man. out of Dodge. In the meantime, if that doesn't work, you have different closets that you can hide in or beds you can hide under. But now you're limited in your view and you have to know to hold your breath whenever Jason's in the room. But even then, you can only hold it for so long. And the minute you start to breathe, he's going to know where you are. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> okay, so if anyone's not familiar with the story, these two guys decide they're going to make their own version of a Friday the 13th video game, but of course they couldn't use Friday the 13th, it's all copyrighted. So they start a GoFundMe account, raise a pretty good amount of money, enough to allow them to build their game. Well, somehow, during the development process, they get in touch what with the with producers them? of the franchise. And these guys turn around and give oh, them, free of charge, the rights to the Friday the, the 13th franchise. So they are now able to use Jason, to do with it. Tommy Jarvis, it. Camp Crystal Lake, the whole nine. Now I've got a weapon. As I mentioned earlier, you'll go around, you'll explore some of these cabins, and it's you're going to try and pick up the tools machete. and the weapons that you need to be successful. Now, what I don't know oh, yet yeah, is if nice. these things change locations each time you play the game, because eventually it may come down to you play the game oh, enough where me. you know where the key fuck elements me. are. <laughs> but again, when Jason's hunting you down, oh, come on, it's man. legit, man. You feel scared. <laughs> He's right on you. Your adrenaline starts to kick a little. And then, of course, you have these brutal kills Fuck you. Uh. oh this don't look good for you man I just had that done <laughs> For those of you that don't have good dental insurance, Jason will perform some extractions free of charge. 
So once you're dead, the game's not really over unless you decide to leave. You can scroll around the different cameras, observe the other players on the team, and see who's doing what. You can still talk to your teammates even though you're dead. And you can kind of let them know where Jason is. Sometimes oh, right shit. behind them and they don't even realize it until it's too late. He stuck a knife in her ass. Now, if you're lucky enough and you struggle just right, you might break run, free. Run, girl, run. And if you do, you better take advantage of it. Yeah. Nice ass. Tore the heart right out of her. Yo, Lumberjack, run! Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, he let you go, all right. Oh, there's a knife in someone's ass. Damn, Tommy. You got a med kit anywhere? Oh, he's coming in that window after that ass. He remembers what you did to him when you were 10. Whacking the shit out of his head with that axe. It's payback time, bitch! Oh, no. We're going to remove these molars in the back. Oh! Bye, Tommy. Yeah, it's over. See ya! Now, as I mentioned earlier, I only played two games. And I was talking to guys that had been playing since the release for hours. Never got to be Jason. My second match in, I've got Jason. So Jason comes with his own set of skills. Now, as your counselor, or Tommy Jarvis, you have stamina to consider. Some have more, some have less. But once your stamina runs down, then you become much more susceptible to Jason catching you. Yes, I have too. With Jason, though, he's got different aspects of things that he can do, some special powers, if you will. And we're going to look at some of those right here. Sense is available. Don't stop, Jason. They deserve to die. Make them suffer like we did. So, one of the ones I thought was pretty cool is this speed travel where you just zoom in along towards the echo locations that give you an idea where the players are, and you can make up a lot of ground in a very short period of time. Now, in this case, the camp counselor threw down some firecrackers, which disorients Jason a little bit. There's also flare guns. Tommy comes with a one-shot rifle, and that's literally it. You get one shot with that. But all of these things stun or injure Jason long enough to help you get away. Now, I haven't really proven it yet, but I was told that 20 minutes is the goal. You want to survive 20 minutes, and that means you survive the night and you can get out. Ugh, this bitch. person wasn't so lucky. You! Now, probably would have been a smarter idea for him to just turn and run, but he decided to stick around and take a shot at Jason, and that didn't make me happy. 
Now, one of the other ways you can try to survive in less than 20 minutes is one of the cabins has a telephone. The problem is you. the fuse is out, so you have to go and refuse it, and then you can go in and call the police. And then are. I believe you only have to survive four minutes. Here we're looking at one of the other perks that Jason comes with, which is this vision ability. And as you can see, now I see just where my other two people are on the map, way at the far side. And if you company that up with that speed run, you can catch up a lot of distance and be right on top of them in no time at all. So is this game slanted heavily towards Jason? You better believe it is, but you ever seen any of the movies? Uh-oh! Oh, hysterectomy! Don't stop, Jason. They deserve to die. Make them suffer like we did. Now, I mentioned a little while ago that you can get to the one cabin and call the police. In this case, oh. they did get to the police. But, for future reference, when I am Jason, I'm going to find that cabin first, and I'm going to take that phone. box out where they're not going to be able to repair it. At least I don't think they'll be able to. If this was done by a major studio, I would say it's not worth $39.99. But it wasn't. It was done by a couple of guys on a GoFundMe budget, and I think they knocked it out of the park. This game really captures the essence of the Friday the 13th franchise, and for that alone, I think you have to try to support them if you can. I'm giving this game a 7.5.